Mini Pukawa, Isubuapa, Ichitumawas, Katestoats, Takata, Itskina Aids, Inamps Catch, Hog Matau Patum, Canoches Sist, K is Chuxist. The land has always spoken to Peter Weasel Moccasin. It's the land where the Blackfoot people have made their home for centuries. It's the land where he was raised. The land where he and his father would dig their fingers into the soil, searching for rocks to create ceremonial stone pipes. It was on these trips where Peter listened to the lessons and stories passed on by his father. He did the same with others in his community when the elders and grandparents spoke, he listened, watched, studied, and learned as his community shared stories of the Blackfoot way of life. He speaks of the lessons he learned, humanity, peace, love, contentedness. It's this traditional way of knowing that has fueled Peter's lifelong love of learning. On the same land where he dug for rocks as a young boy, the traditional lands of the Blackfoot Confederacy, sits Lethbridge College. Peter first walked through the doors of the college in the 1970s with the goal of attaining his welding certificate. While he didn't earn the credential, the experience helped shape his journey. He realized that everyone is here to learn something and that knowledge is the key to life. Peter would return to the college decades later, this time not as a student, but as a grandparent in the college's cultural support program. He's been known to say that he only took the job because of the promise of free food and coffee, but the way he has poured his heart and energy into the role over the past five years proves there is a much deeper emotional tie to his participation. Peter is always available to lend an ear some advice, guidance to anyone who seeks his counsel. Those who spend time with him come back with the same descriptors. Kind, warm-hearted, humble, caring, and funny. His humor is a tool of strength and resiliency that he uses to pass the lessons of his past onto the next generation. Some of those lessons are shaped by hardship. As a young boy, he was forced into residential school. He now speaks openly of these experiences by visiting classrooms and community groups. He talks of the need to speak about the past and learn from it. He sees the potential of the younger generations to lead change, to be open to learning about indigenous cultures. He sees the potential of education to lead the healing process. He has taken an active approach to his teaching. A Blackfoot flag now flies permanently in front of campus, thanks in part to Peter, the college's new Blackfoot name, which means Stonepipe was a gift from Peter. He meets regularly with the president and other leaders of Lethbridge College to make sure that Indigenous issues are always top of mind. And he makes real connections with those he interacts with. He once mentored two criminal justice students who had admitted their own negative biases towards Indigenous cultures. He broke down their concerns and found a level of understanding that ultimately led to an enduring relationship with both men and the eventual giving of Blackfoot names. Peter never envisioned himself as a leader, but he is an important knowledge keeper, the next link in a chain of those who keep the stories of the Blackfoot alive. Today, Peter will receive a Bachelor of Applied Science Ecosystem Management Honorary Degree. It's symbolic of his ties to the land, how he continues to search for stones and pass on the lessons he has learned. Peter's lessons are best summed up in his own words. Maybe I can help in the college and in the community to live in peace, to help overcome barriers, to overcome prejudice and bigotry. Oki 
Kiraksi, Kichini, 